Hey, comma family. Uh, another retro react because uh, Pinky, until <laughs> you start making uh, your current videos, uh, I, uh, could we, uh, I don't know, could we say enjoyable? I mean, at least watchable, girl. Uh, we just gonna have to keep going back, uh, going, going back in time. Uh, this is four years ago. This is when Pinky used to have. Uh, thank you for watching. Hugs. Uh, November eighteenth, twenty eighteen. Wow. Mm. That seems like forever. But this was uh, Pinky's uh, Thanksgiving feast. So uh, let's see what old Pinky was up to. See, this is Pinky's natural element. There may be, uh, you know, a couple people uh, that may be thinking to themselves, um, you know, well, why go back in time? Well, because uh, usually when someone you're reacting to just uh, f just flat out just starts to where they don't give a shit about the channel or anything, we got to go back in time to where, uh, you know, you get them in their natural element. See, back in 2018, um, I don't believe, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I don't believe... Um, like these kinds of um the the reacting as far as in the uh, uh, girl g o g o r l girl world um as far as you know Chantel Amberlynn um Pinky so they were in their um uh, their natural element they were um you know being themselves kinda um but they were at least trying somewhat you know to um make their channel um to make their channel good. You know, they put a little bit more effort into it. And, um, you know, nowadays with Pinky, she's not doing any of that. So, um, uh, you know, we got to go back in time. Hello, everyone. Okay. Now, oh, Lord have mercy. I got both earbuds in my ears. I about blew my eardrum out. Now, this was back also when uh, Pinky, I don't know what it was, but Pinky had some very, very, very loud volume. I mean, if she, a plastic bag, anything that crinkled, you know, that made that kind of noise or anything, it damn near blow out your eardrums. I mean, it was, um, it was so loud. So, I don't want to turn her down too much. Turn it down like that. We are getting everything ready. This is how we're going to take the turkey and then we will round it up in the oven. For sure. The rolls. The hot, the Pepsi. <laughs> okay. One of these, I think I'm going to put this one, put on it. See? See? You hear that damn noise? Uh, Tim is fooling with the uh, aluminum foil. Now, I don't know for anybody else, but even now, with my earbuds in and even turning that down, that's loud. That is very loud. It's almost to the point to where it's just like, you know, uh, you just want to kind of skip through it. And like I said, I want you all to be able to hear because, like I said before, uh, we can't rely on Cece. We really can't as to what she's saying. But, uh, I get, I get a little bit. This might just be an extra pan, but we'll use it for actual Thanksgiving day. We're going to cut up some tomato and that, and then Tim's got the gravy that we're going to use. I'm going to cut up with some made cucumber. Excuse me, y'all. i got to pause for one second because I have to cough, and, and, and my microphone it will pick up. It, it, it will pick up anything, and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to cough into it. So, outfit of the day, casual, casual, just casual me. <laughs> just wear my butterfly shirt, because it's my hair tie. And, and my brown pants and some soup, and my soup. <laughs> Now see, see that's what I'm talking about. That was just Pinky being, uh, I guess Pinky being Pinky. You know, she was being a little bit goofy as far as you know. She got her, <laughs> she got her butter butterfly shirt on. She got her brown, <laughs> she got her brown pants and her shoes. <laughs> now see, this was back when 2018. Uh, this is when I liked Pinky, you know, because she was she was just being, you know, she wasn't trying to be. She wasn't trying to be funny. She wasn't being snarky. She wasn't being anything like that. She was just being herself. And so even something like that, you know, it's, uh, to me, it was funny. So you see what Cece's got up here? And one brown pipe and some soap and my soles. Uh, yeah, we could probably work with that as far as what's going on today, Pinky. But yeah, this back when Pinky was, uh, this back when Pinky was cute. It, it wasn't no, no animosity, no nothing, you know, as far as Pinky back at this time. She would just be in pinky. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to cut up this tomato and cucumber. You guys want to watch me? I might let you just watch me for a few minutes. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. 
Myself. Well, sorry, Pinky, but no, uh, I, I see enough. Of, I see enough. We all see enough of this right here. We we don't need to go back five years to watch this. Uh, boy, Pinky, she could get some angles though. And uh, look at Tim. Tim, you were slim and trim back at this time. Slim and trim, Tim. Look at him. Look at him with his little jeans on and everything. Look, uh, Tim. Uh, Timmy got back. <laughs> Poor Durb. Thanks. Whatever you call it. Are you on that chair? Oops, sorry. <laughs> he thinks so. Okay, here's our snacks. We got some applesauce, cottage cheese, cranberry sauce, some jello, that's watermelon jello, some butter. You want some butter? Some eggs, it's half eaten. Some tomato, some cheese, which I would take these. Some pickle. Mmm, I like cheese. It's my favorite. Now, see, now, this is just my opinion. You know, now, anyone, you can do what you want as far as your Thanksgiving, anything like that, okay? I'm just saying, if I didn't know that this was Thanksgiving, I would have thought, me personally, I would have thought it was it, like they were having a cookout, like it was summertime or whatever, because, I mean, it just to me, it's unusual to see, like, um, you know, like, a jello and, um, I don't know, sliced tomatoes, of course, I think tomatoes suck in the wintertime, you know, so I don't even, I don't even buy them, but that, you know, that's here, but... Uh, it, it, it's just kind of weird to see these the, these types of foods for for Thanksgiving. Oh, sticky cheese. Did you bring a little cooler ice? Mm hmm Oh, you're the best. Okay, I am getting the salad done. Putting the salad together. Got that in there. I just wouldn't end up getting this because, as I told you guys at home, I was out. So I got the spinach and spring mix. Baby spinach, baby lettuce blend, and baby greens. Washed and ready to eat. So that's what we got. I just thought I picked that up at Walmart. Washed and ready to eat. And as you see, I cut it up some cucumber at home. Well, maybe. I don't know. I might not have showed you guys. I don't remember. And then I got tomato I'm going to cut up. And put in it too. Oops. We're making all kinds of noise up in here. Oh, God. No, I... That's uh, a little too much noise uh, for me. I can't take all that. Uh, we've already, we know how you do salads and everything. That's a nice salad, Pinky. I will say that, you know. Uh, Pinky, at times, uh, you know, when she tries, she can do up a nice salad, you know. There's nothing wrong with buying, uh, uh, you know, uh, the packaged, um, uh, you know, greens and stuff. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So, that's a nice salad, Pinky. Oh, looking good, huh? They're so pretty. Look, yes, they are. Got everything in there. Tastes as good, too. I love them. I love salad. Now, oh my. You see what that says up there? Taste this good tip. I love salad. Uh, this isn't, um, mm -mm. no, CC. We ain't having none of that. We ain't having none of that out of you. This this is this is PG stuff right here. We ain't, we ain't doing that. And then we got yams, rolls, stuffing, corn, salad, applesauce. That is watermelon. Now, see, that's more like it, Pinky. That is more like it. You know, I will admit something, though. I do like watermelon jello. I like pretty much every kind of jello but i love watermelon i love strawberry i love the orange i like to take and take the different flavors and do them up like that and then you know like do them in molds and stuff and do them in a big oh my with uh with cool whip and that that's the one thing that i love on a low carb or even keto sugar -free, i love sugar-free jello listen if anyone out there if you love jello and you think to yourself well you know i don't think i would like sugar-free mm -mm. I promise, promise you, promise you, sugar-free Jello is, uh, it is out of this world. Seriously, you don't even, like you can eat, Mr. Karma, Mr. Karma loves sugar-free Jello. And he ain't into that keto and the low carby stuff, you know, that's not what he's into, but he loves sugar-free Jello. I made that one time, and I put a little bit of Cool Whip on top of it, and and then, you know, when he was pretty much done, I was like, you know, that's pretty good for sugar-free. And he kind of looked at me and looked at it, and then looked at me again, and I was like, yeah, isn't that good? He loves it. Now, he loves his, uh, he loves his jello with fruit in it. And so do I. But like I said, if you're on low-carb keto, try sugar-free jello. It is out of this world. I promise you, you will not miss the sugar. And this video is not sponsored by uh, Jell-O. Jell-O. Mac and cheese. And then we got... The green bean casserole in there. Heat it up. So, Haley wants the wishbone. The wishbone. One. Stand up in front of me. One, two, three. I got it. Yep. Did you make a wish when you pulled it apart? Yep. Okay. 
From Crystal. There was a wish bone and I made the wish and I got the wish. She got the biggest part. Now we got more mashed potatoes. Okay. We got mashed potatoes here. We're just going to go here, make our plate, and then go sit down at the table. Here's our dessert, a chocolate pie. This is a cinnamon. Um, oh, that looks good. Now, I will say that. Pinky probably didn't make this, but that does look good. I want to take this back to Haley. I take this back to Haley. Two, three. I got it. Yep. Did you make a wish when you pulled it apart? Yep. Okay. From Crystal, there was a wish bone, and I made the wish, and I got the wish. Uh, she got the biggest. I thought she said Aunt Crystal. I know she said Crystal. Part. Now we got more mashed potatoes. Okay. We got mashed potatoes here. We're just gonna go here, make our plate, and then go. Now listen, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this is a Thanksgiving feast. You know, when she was showing that other stuff, that must have been uh, just, you know, the, the little things that you pick, you know, before the dinner. The little appetizers. Um, but let me tell you one thing right now. Yeah, I don't know whose house they're at. I don't know if this is Pinky's sister. But let me tell you something right now. This is a feast. This is a feast right here. And you know what? And I'm not going to lie. I would grab me a plate. And yes, I would. Because it's not at Pinky's house. <laughs> and, and like I said, it probably her sister made the majority of it. So, yeah, I, I would pick up a plate. And I would. Um, I would. Uh have me a meal here this food does look good here's our dessert a chocolate pie this is a cinnamon bun apple pie and we've got a pumpkin cool what to go on it plates and look at her pretty tree it's beautiful okay we added some broccoli and potatoes tim's still cutting for us might have to get a plate to put it on okay i'm starting off first with a salad yummy Tomato cucumbers with some ranch. And uh, let me ask y'all a question because like uh, for Thanksgiving, Christmas, we don't we don't have a salad. Like I don't I don't do salad up with the dinner. And like we don't eat. Like we don't sit down and have a salad, you know, and then have the meal. You know, I, I don't know. I mean that's something like, you know, in a restaurant you order your salad and then you get your meal and everything. I don't do that at my house. Um, yeah. Uh uh yes, Pinky, uh she she loaded that plate up. Uh stuffing corn mashed potatoes gravy uh broccoli uh mac and cheese and i'll be honest with y'all yes uh yes i do I, I make a mean mac and cheese and i do make mac and cheese uh for thanksgiving and for christmas um and the roll mm-hmm let's see i don't do broccoli i'll usually do uh green beans like do something up with green beans um corn because mr karma he likes corn um i do uh the uh, candied sweet potatoes uh, and then when they're done uh, sprinkle some of the little mini marshmallows on top put that bad boy uh, uh, on the low side uh, underneath the broiler just until they get you know nice little brown poppity pop going on those marshmallows Ooh, lord have mercy i'm making myself hungry um the mashed potatoes the gravy i do uh, oyster stuffing oh lord we love oyster stuffing but i tell you what them oysters have been uh they've been jacking up the price on those oyster stuffing um and then i do a regular stuffing not everyone likes oyster stuffing uh what else uh my now my rolls now these are just the rolls you know you buy at the store like the brown and serve type rolls uh, I, I i do homemade rolls um there's probably a few other things that i do as far as that but i tell you what i'm yeah just kind of uh it'd make me hungry Okay, here's my dinner. Broccoli, macaroni and cheese, stuffing, some corn, mashed potatoes, and there's some turkey under there somewhere. <laughs> and I got a row. Still, still on my pep, pep salad. And here, let me point out too, and I remember Pinky said one time, because Pinky does stove top, stove top uh, stuffing. Nah, well, nah, I don't fool with that. I, I like homemade stuffing. This here, oh, come on. Well, that's good enough. This here, uh, and I, got I can't tell. This might be stovetop, cause I don't see onions. I don't see um, celery. Uh, uh Some people are intimidated by um, homemade dressing. Some people say dressing. Some people say stuffing. I, it don't make any difference to me. I, one way I say stuffing. If I say stuffing, you know I mean dressing. If I say dressing, you know I mean stuffing. I mean it's like damn. Um, some people are, are intimidated by that. Mm -mm. Stuffing is the easiest to make. Uh, you put you some butter, butter in a skillet. Do you some onions, celery, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, you know, get that cooking and just, um, maybe about 10 minutes or something like that, just until, you know, the, the celery and uh, the onions just soften just a wee little bit. Once that's done, 
I take and I add uh, the chicken broth. Then I add my sage. Oh man, as soon as that sage hits and you get to stir in that, uh, the whole house, it just smells like, uh, smells like Thanksgiving. Then once that, set that bad boy to the side, you get your um, breadcrumbs. Some people buy the, I like the Pepperidge Farm breadcrumbs. And now I get the sage flavor. I add sage, but I get the sage flavored um, Pepperidge Farms um, croutons, uh, breadcrumbs. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Get that, add that to your chicken broth and all. And I don't like, I don't like to wear the uh, croutons or um, the bread crumbs. Well, no, no, hell, why am I saying bread crumbs? The, the bread cr cubes, bread cubes. Um, I like to keep them really, you know, I like to keep them moist. Then I come in with the, um, with the oysters. Use the whole thing, the liquid of the, uh, that liquid, liquid gold. Oysters with the, um, with its liquid. Pour that in there. Stir that bad boy up real good. Sometimes I'll add a little bit more butter. A little bit more butter. Just give that little, you know, a little extra, um, uh, you know, extra calories that you really don't need. But it's it, Thanksgiving. It's only one time a year. Put that thing in a casserole thing. Cover it up with foil. Basically, listen to me, Pinky. 350 degrees. 350 degrees for about 35 minutes because basically everything is cooked. The only thing you're, you're doing up is those oysters. And boy, I tell you what. Oh, that is just the absolute best. I can't wait till Thanksgiving. I'm hungry already. Still on, still on my pet. Pepsi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm eating. Here's the dessert. Here's the pumpkin pie. Here's that cinnamon. The chocolate. That's chocolate silk. Mmm. And cool whip to go on it. And a plate over here. So I'm gonna try me a piece. Right now, I think. Right now. I'm gonna try some pie. Let's try this guy. This is new. I've never tried this before. Mmm, look at that. It looks good. I'm not going to lie, that, that apple pie, that's homemade. That does look good. It really does. I don't do apple pie. I do pumpkin pies and I do a uh, pecan pie and I'll do some kind of a, I'll, I'll do some kind of a cake. But um, yeah, this here, this does look good. Oh. It's cool. It's probably in you guys' way, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry to keep doing that. Uh, Pinky, you know what? You ought to get the recipe from whoever made this pie because we know you didn't make it. Um, you need to get the recipe. And girl, I know if you really try, if you really wanted to, you could make this right here. Now, but make sure if you do take my suggestion, make sure you get a damn to where you can raise that camera up. Because see, look, I, I don't want to be looking. I don't want this view right here. I want a, a you know, an overhead. An overhead uh, of what you're making is, is the best thing, uh, is the best way to do it. But boy, I'll tell you what, that does look good. Yeah, I would definitely uh, have me a piece of this. Ooh, it smells really good. It smells really cinnamon -y. It really smells like cinnamon. Yummy, look at that. That looks good, don't it? it looks scrumptious. Now, you see, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Pinky, she is in, she is in her glory right now. And just, she can't even wait to dig in to this pie. And you see how happy she is? Mmm. That tastes so Now I'm having a piece of this chocolate silk pie, a small piece. Here's her pretty Christmas tree. It's a fabric, fabric optic. I love the way it changes colors. I'm gonna get me a big one. Hers is just small that sits there. But it's perfect for her. Very pretty. Uh, Pinky, I don't, now see, I don't remember. I'd have to go and look, but I don't think Pinky, did, did Pinky have, did she ever get herself a, a big fiber optic tree? I don't, I don't think she did. I could be wrong. I love it. Actually, it's the one we bought her. <laughs> a few years ago, Tim and I did, and Haley. Hey, that's so pretty. We're going to help her put her major up here soon. Haley is. Beautiful. Actually, I don't think this is, I don't think this uh, was her sister. I think it may have been that one woman. And I don't remember her name, but I think it may, uh, it may have been um, her. I think Pink had even said one time she was, a, that the woman was a friend of Tim's. I don't know. Okay, everyone, so we got the major set out that me and, that I did. Yeah, we still got to do a little bit more arranging, but Frank will still do that. 
So then we just got all these. Got the little manger. Well, it's not frame crystal. I don't know if she's saying Fran crystal or is she saying Gran crystal. I don't know. Because you got all this snapping and crackling and popping going on within the video because I, I don't know how in the hell. I mean, I don't. I doubt uh, Pinky had uh, microphones all over the place, but uh, but I don't know if she's saying Gran Crystal or Fran Crystal. Oh, we have someone else back here. Angel watching over him. And then we got all these little animals. And that's what we have. Okay, guys, we're going to Dollar Tree just to pick up a few things. Not many. Okay, well, I don't think that we need to. Um, we've already seen all the Dollar Trees, Dollar Generals, all that kind of stuff. We don't need to see that. Okay, everyone, we <clears throat> finally made it home. Let's talk about Dollar Tree real quick, which you probably just seen that clip. <laughs> I'll just show you what we got. Haley did it, so I don't know if she showed you or not, but I want to show you anyways. Got some of this fine junction, the powder. My cover girl. Got this pin. Makes noises. Comes out here. Before I'm showing you way up here. <laughs> it's a unicorn horn. <laughs> you can't really see it, but. Oh, yeah, this is the sleigh. And this. I got a thing of. Two things of scissors. And a thing of glue. Haley wants to do some crafts or something. So she got that stuff. And then we got Walmart. Got a thing of Romine. So we were totally out, as you guys seen. Got some celery. Yummy. We got some peanut butter. Just the creamy. And some Folgers. Got that high. Okay. Just a quick little haul. I'll show you guys a little bit of the leftovers if I can get them out here that we brought home. A piece. Some pumpkin pie and a piece of chocolate pie. Well, we know that the um, the chocolate pie, that was for Pinky. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's Pinky's favorite. We got there. We did. Okay. And then we got... We had a great time. It's been a few months since we've seen her, so. Oh, this is some of that cinnamon bun pie. <laughs> it's good. It's not better if you heat it up, though. Mm, it's delicious. Damn, Pinky. Uh, hold on a second. What'd you do? Take half the pie? Good. It's not better if you heat it up, though. Yeah, that's like. I don't know, that's like three, four pieces of that pie. And then with the pumpkin pie anatomy, just for the three of you, that seems like, you know, I, well, but then again, maybe, maybe Haley didn't like the apple pie. Maybe she liked the pumpkin pie. And, you know, same way with Tim as far as that. But, um, yeah, we know that Piggy likes the chocolate pie, and we know she definitely liked this pie. She's already, uh, you know, she's already picking at it. Mm, delicious. I'm sorry. Well, I haven't had a bite. <laughs> getting it all over me, though. So, what happens, uh, Nice lunch tomorrow with the leftovers. Thank you all so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, share, share, share. I'll make sure I got it paused. Yeah, now see that? Now that, that is a nice spread. It really, really is a nice spread. This right here, I think she did say, didn't she say the, uh, this was candied yams? I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to go back and see what she said. But I, I thought she said this was, I don't know, it's either yams or sweet potatoes. But it looked like it got a crust. Hell, maybe that's the apple pie, but I thought she said that that was, I thought she said yams. Oh, hell, it don't make any difference. But that's a nice spread. And, um, yeah, so they went over to this woman's house, and that was nice. And it, it was, it was very, very nice, uh, that Haley set up the, uh, the manger and everything for that woman. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Haley was, uh, you know, and, and I'm sure, I mean, it, that, I mean, she still is. But Haley was a lovely, lovely young lady. I mean, you could just tell that she was just one of these young girls that would that would help anybody, you know, uh, that, hey, if it was the um, the elderly lady across the street or something, oh, hey, she needs help or something. Haley would be like the type of kid that would, you know, like, um, oh, well, that lady out there, you know, uh, she needs her, her walk shoveled, you know, because I don't want her to fall. You see what I'm saying? And anybody who knows who has been around, around long enough would agree with me on that. Haley was a lovely, lovely 
a young girl. I mean, you could just tell, love uh, to read. I hope she still loves to read. But she was just really, really, just just uh, the cutest little thing. She really uh, was. And, and once Haley hit 16, I don't, I don't know what happened. I really don't. Um, but like I said, things changed as far as um, Pinky, everything. I don't know if just one day she thought to herself, you know, well... I, this is what I need to do to make my channel bigger, or I need to, you know, I, you know, I look at what Amber Lynn's doing, I look at what Chantel's doing, and I need to go down that path, anything like that, but anyway, um, you know what, and I'm going to do something, and Pinky, I want you to pay close attention, I'm going to do something that you would probably, you never thought that I would do, uh, but this, this was, um, you know, it, this was a nice video. It was nice to actually go back to a time where, you know, um, you know, you weren't doing all that uh, unnecess unnecessary BS and lying and doing all this. You know, you were just being pinky, enjoying your Thanksgiving um, with your friend and with Tim and with Haley. So here's what I'm going to do, girl. Oh, Lord have mercy. That's right, pinky. Uh, I'm going to give you a thumbs up. Because like I said, I used to watch you back around this time. And I, 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 I thought that you were just, you know, I thought that you were a sweetheart. I really did. And uh, many, many of us did. And then things changed. And um, things changed. Uh, they didn't need to change. Um, you know, you, you don't have to do all the extra stuff, Pinky. You really, really don't. But, um, yeah. Sometimes it's just nice to go back in time uh, to where um, before, um, you know, all of the games, uh, all of the games began. So, um, anyway. Karma family. I love you all, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.